I just recently made a video of the 24 things that I absolutely hate about the Genesis. And I have to say the number one thing on that list has to be the notorious turn signals on the 2015 Genesis. Now for the front turn signal, Genesis recommends using 2357 bulbs right here. However, they seem to die out extremely fast. So in this video, I'm going to show you why left 57 bulbs are much better. And I'll also show you how to install them. The bulbs I have in my vehicle are the 2357 bulbs which were recommended by the dealership and also Hyundai. However, as you can see, when I actually turn on my turn signal for the right side, it has definitely prematurely blown out and it's only been a year. I've had this vehicle for 8 years now and I've had to change these turn signals at least 5 times. And this is also where it starts hyper flashing, letting you know it's time to change your bulb out. For reference, this is what it looks like when it's not hyper flashing. Now there are only three differences between a 2357 bulb right here and a 1157 bulb right here. Number one, the 1157 bulbs have a better longevity compared to the 2357 bulbs right here. Number two, the 1157 is also rated at a higher 1200 hour lifespan compared to the 400 hour lifespan on a 2357 bulb. And last but not least, the slight downside, which is not really a big downside, is that this one, the 2357, is actually 25% brighter than this bulb right here. Now, 25% brighter is not necessarily a big difference, especially in terms of real life. However, since I had one of these already installed in my vehicle and they're currently working, I'm going to do a comparison once I install this and then you guys see for yourself. Now installing the bulbs on this vehicle is going to be fairly simple and on every vehicle it's going to be pretty much the same. In this case we're going to have to take off this plastic cover right here. It's very simple you just take out a bunch of these tabs. As you can see one is already coming out and then we're going to take this entire cover off to get to the housing. Once you take out all the push pins this comes off fairly simply. Once you take it off now you are ready to start the installation process. Now the Genesis has a dust cover on it. However, if your vehicle does not have a dust cover, you don't have to worry about this step, but you're gonna take off the dust cover by twisting and pulling it off and then twist and pull out the actual bulb connector. Here's the actual bulb itself. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is basically push the bulb down, turn it and pull it out. And this should release the bulb from its socket. Once you're done with that, install the new bulb in by doing the reverse, twist the bulb back into the socket and don't forget the dust cover if your vehicle has one and you're done. Okay, now for demonstration purposes, I have the 2357 on the right of the screen and the 1157 on the left. And to be candid here, you really can't tell the 25% difference between these two brightnesses. And so despite being a quote unquote dimmer bulb, in real life testing, you really can't tell the difference at all. And I will take this 1157 bulb any time of the day to make sure that it can last longer and I'm not changing this bulb out every single year. And just for reference, as you can see, the hyper flashing has definitely stopped once I installed the 1157 bulb. Okay, so I installed the bulb and closed the hood and now you can see the bulbs working extremely well and I'm truly happy with the results with the 1157 bulb. So I think you should definitely give this a shot because trust me, they will last a lot longer. I'll leave the links to these bulbs in the description section of the video below. They're extremely low cost and definitely well worth it. All right, so now that you have a good idea of the differences between the two bulbs and how to replace them, I really want you to see the entire vehicle at night with all the stunning lights on. This will be very, very important to get a better understanding to actually see how the lights work about the vehicle and also how it looks at night. So I created this video, I put it up right here for you. Check it out.